Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda and I love bread. I love bread. I love bread. I love bread. So I decided <laughs> to cake it. I cake bread. To make my bread cakes, I made 24 pounds of my ultimate vanilla batter. Once my cakes were baked, cooled, and chilled, I removed them from their rectangular pans, leveled them, and cut the caramelization off the bottom. Two of my rectangle cakes are the same size, and right now I need to cut both of them in half so that I get four rectangles. The next thing I wanna do is cut my 12 by 18 inch larger rectangle cake into three even strips. Yes. <laughs> Do you see that? Yeah. I have no idea how any of these are going to turn into any of those. Well, you're going to have to follow along. I will follow along. Okay, good. <laughs> I've decided to carve my bread cakes before filling them and sort of assemble. So the first thing I want to do is build the big oval loaf out of three of the four even rectangles that I cut. For my baguette cake, I'm going to stack two of the long, thin strips of cake, one on top of the other. For the smaller baguette, I'm gonna take that final long strip, cut it in half, and stack one half on top of the other. So I have like kind of a baguette that's half the length. I said half a lot there, right? <laughs> it's a shorter baguette. For my bun, I have that final fourth small rectangle. I'm gonna cut that in half, stack one half on top of the other, and now I can carve. I have a lot of carving to do. For my large oval loaf of bread, I start by sort of rounding down the top of the cake. Then I have a look above. I'm short, so that's pretty hard to do. But try to look <laughs> over your cake, and I cut the corners off just to form an oval. This helps me visualize what I want to carve. And then I just keep using my serrated knife, rounding down from the top all around the sides and also the bottom of the cake. I just want it to look like a really nice loaf of bread. For the baguette, it's the same kind of concept but a different shape because we have a long, thin bread. I still want it to be rounded at the two ends and then I'm going to round down from the top all the way around and the bottom underneath. The small baguette is pretty much the same shape, but smaller. And then for the bun, I'm kind of making like, how do I say? It's not quite a teardrop. It's like a rounded diamond. Does that make sense? That's the sandwich bread. Right? That's the sandwich one. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. As a final touch to all my loaves and buns, I do want to create like slashes on the top. Because usually bread, when they, when they bake it, they like cut it or they slash it, and that's why you get those nice like slits mm -hmm. when it's baked. So I need to carve that out of the bread. If you love bread and you love this channel, share this video because I would love that. Share this video with somebody who loves bread and loves cake. And I love you. Share this Oprah. Share this how do you share a video with Oprah? I'm happy with the shape of all of my loaves and baguettes and buns. So now I'm going to line them all up on my stainless steel table and it's time for Sir Squeeze a lot to do his job. I wanted this cake to look like bread even when I cut it. So instead of using Italian meringue buttercream, which really hurt me, I spread a very thin layer of clear piping gel to glue my cakes together. I'm sorry, buttercream. No, buttercream outside of the toilet. No. Crumpler? No. There's no buttercream in this? Nope. Shut the camera. <laughs> What's the point? There's no buttercream. <laughs> because if I had crumb coated in buttercream, you would have seen a white line. Guys, I'm really sorry. I I don't know who I am anymore. I'm gonna coat the outside of the bread with a mixture of piping gel and honey. It's just a little more golden. I really decided to do it because I ran out of piping gel. Cody was kind enough to go to the store. They ran out of piping gel. Wow. So I only had a bit of piping gel, but I did have honey. Yeah, I mixed together piping gel and honey, and it's the perfect color, like slightly golden. You know why I love bread, right? What goes best with bread? My other love. Coffee? Butter! Oh yeah, butter. You love coffee too. I do, but I don't I don't think of coffee and bread. I do. It sounds good. You don't drink coffee. No. It's 
So that's why it sounds good to you. <laughs> Probably. I think it's more like coffee and donuts. Yeah. Bread's kind of like a donut without all the flavors in it. <laughs> Bread's like a donut without all the flavor. You're, I'm sold. More bread. <laughs> I'm going to cover each bread one by one with some tan fondant. Guess what I colored my fondant with? <laughs> Ivory. Ivory. <laughs> For my small baguette cake, I wanted it to look like multigrain bread. So I needed in some cocoa nibs. Cause I was thinking, what can I need in? Like I, I really could have needed in grains or seeds, but I wanted to use something that kind of went with cake a bit better. For my long baguette cake, I decided to marble together the two tones of tan fondant. It was like an ivory swirl. Then I allowed my fondant to sit for about five to 10 minutes before covering each cake. To cover these cakes, I'm gonna carefully lift each sheet of fondant, lay it over the cake, smooth it around with my hands, making sure to smooth into the slashes that I carved on the top. The trickiest part of covering these cakes was turning them over and gathering the fondant underneath and then trimming away the excess. Because as I said, I wanted crust on the bottom. And it would be better to put the seam on the bottom, obviously, than the top of the cake. How do you feel about people who cut crust off their, their bread? Don't talk to me about those people. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> you mean children? Do you cut crust off your bread? No, I don't. Oh, okay, you're an adult now, good. Orhan, do you cut the cu crust off your bread? I don't cut it, but I eat around it. So you are boyish. That's very little boy. Actually, my son, he eats the crust, but then he went, I don't remember where he was, but he went to a party where somebody else wouldn't eat the crust, and then he was like, cut the crust off. I was like, no, you like crust. I can't dedicate my life to cutting off crust, I'm sorry. I feel that the slashes in my bread cakes need some texture. So you know what I'm gonna use to texture my bread? Say what, Yolanda? What, Yolanda? Bread! What? Yolanda? What? I'm gonna use bread to texture my bread. So I have some more tan fondant. It's a bit lighter in color than all of my loaves. I'm gonna roll it very thin, and then I'm going to lay it on top of real bread. So for the baguette, I had a real baguette and I laid strips of this thin, thin fondant on top of the real baguette on the slashes and I just used my fingertips to rub it in. Imagine you did the same thing with a turkey. Just no, that would have been turkey. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but with bread, there's nothing to worry about. There's no weird flavor that I am to transfer to the cake. Mm. It was the perfect thing. Once I've added texture to each thin sheet of rolled fondant, then I brush a little bit of water in, onto the surface of each slash in my cake and lay those pieces inside. While it's on top of the cake, I tear away more if I need to, and I just make sure it fits in to the, the crevice that is the slash. I do this for each one of my cakes. Yolanda, did you see the new website? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's so it? nice. One of the things I love most is that the recipes have categories now, because I often check the recipes myself, even though I've made them before. And now there is free shipping for orders over $75 in Canada and the USA. Now that I've covered all of my openings and slashes, I'm going to use a sculpting tool just to sort of stress the outer lines of the slashes. Stress, but in a good way. Just sound good. Yeah. Life is really hard. <laughs> <It feels> <laughs> good. <laughs> bread slashes! <laughs> Not like that. Now they look like bread, buns, baguettes, but they don't look baked. I will paint them with what color? <laughs> ivory. Uh, say it with confidence. Ivory. Ivory! I'm going to paint them with ivory. You say it with confidence. Say ivory. With confidence. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to set up a bit of like a palette. I'm using some gel ivory food coloring. I'm using some powdered ivory color dust. I love ivory. I just love it. I can paint cakes with ivory every day and never get tired of it. The usual notes for painting. So I like to just play with the colors. Uh, what else did I do? Oh. 
Oh, do you know what I used? I used a beauty blender. What's a beauty blender? This is for makeup. So really you're supposed to wet this, wring it out, or squeeze it out. But I used it to paint ivory. Cody and Orhan look completely confused. <laughs> Why don't we have the two-way camera? <laughs> I just explained exactly what you do with this and they were like this. <laughs> It's a, it's a beauty blender. That's what it's called. I don't get how that helps beauty. You just touch it to your face and you're instantly more beautiful. Watch this. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. You caught it, right? You caught it on camera? Okay, good. But I like it because um, I want the bread to appear like nice and smooth. So sometimes with brushes, you'll get brush strokes. Once I painted the whole surface, I dabbed over it. And around the slashes, I wanted to make it look like it was obviously darker. So I did add um, a darker ivory and brown paint. The brush I used is actually a makeup brush, and I just sort of stippled it out and blended it in so we could have some darkness there. You know what else I love? Subscribers. I would love if you subscribe to this channel. If you subscribe, you won't miss next week's cake. Here's a little tease. Let me know below if you think you know what it is. Oh, and I love the notification bell. <laughs> so you should hit it. I have another surprise for you, Orhan. Not only did I texture bread cakes with bread and use a beauty blender, I created flour from store-bought shortbread cookies. And what? Cody and I went out for lunch and I saw shortbread cookies at the store and I was like, yes. I placed the shortbread cookies into my food processor actually to help them get even finer. I sifted in some icing sugar just to help give it more of a floury texture. Placed the bread in it so it stuck to the bottom, oh, right? I see. And then each one I did a little bit differently. So for the bun, I, what did I do for the bun? Oh, I, I actually took it all the way up the sides of the bun because they're very floury on the outside. So I just pressed it all along the sides and wiped off the excess. And then for the long baguette, I sifted my shortbread crumbs over the top and same for the big loaf. And I was super happy with how it looked. This week, there are two new cakes for you to check out over on Step by Step. Step by Step. Ooh, okay, I'm ready. Shannon has made a beautiful tropical tiered cake with my favorite coconut recipe. And a new member has joined the How to Cake It team, Sam, and she's getting us ready for Halloween with her galaxy themed alien cake. Who wants to go on vacation in the tropics and who wants to go to outer space? Orhan, I know your vote. <laughs> Orhan is really upset that he didn't get to eat the bread. Yes, because why? Why didn't I eat it? Because you weren't on set. No, because nobody brought it to me. He thinks that when he's not here, we should hand deliver freshly decorated cakes to him. Well, Jeremy used to hand deliver Oh, I like this. <laughs> you know what? You're right, he did. Yeah. Did you guys cut them and like spread it? I, that's what I did. <laughs> Or Han, I cut them on a board. Then I spread, like I spread butter, Nutella and peanut butter, cream cheese and jam. Like I had, I had cookie, cookie butter. butter. That's the one I ate. One day I can't come to say this. Happens. Oh, you could have so come upset. if you wanted to. Let me know in the comments below what you would spread on your bread cake. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out Shannon's tropical tiered cake here and Sam's galaxy alien cake here. See you next week.